Alright everybody, welcome to the second playthrough of Romancing Saga. Uh, we're going to rename the first playthrough the Clueless Playthrough, because we had no idea what we were doing for most of the game, and still don't, because the game uh, literally takes an entire book to explain <laughs> how to play it, what to do. So, um... We spent a lot of time reading during the last uh, playthrough. And now we're going to take what we've learned and make a somewhat, not really semi-pro playthrough here. Just uh, just an educated playthrough to uh, do the game more justice for you guys. So if you want to see realism, go watch the Clueless playthrough. If you want to see a better playthrough of the game itself, uh, then watch this one or watch both. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, support me on Patreon, and uh, let's get into it. We're going to start with Gray this time. We started with Hulk last time, and uh, we pretty much messed up everything there was to mess up <laughs> in the last playthrough, so uh, the one thing we are definitely not going to do is mess up the Pyrex trick and the Golden Dragon trick. So those are my only two goals. Uh, everything else is whatever. Mardias. In this world, Many places were believed to harbor hidden treasure. Legao Isle was one such place. One day, a group of adventurers set out for Legao Isle. Sir Galahad, a paladin from Rosalia. Miriam, a mage of fire from Estamir. Hello, will you be staying with us tonight? May I help you? Did you know? The dinosaurs only live in shallow burrows. That's how you can tell where their dens are. The huge dinosaurs out on the plains sure are strong. Thank goodness they won't attack if you stay out of their way. 
How can I help you? Have you heard? You can make a bundle selling dinosaur eggs. But the trick is getting past their protective moms. The holes you see out on the plains are actually dinosaur dens. They say there's treasure way down there, but I don't buy it. Why would dinosaurs keep treasure in their dens? I hear treasures hidden in some of the holes on the plains, but I wonder which ones. What do you want? that on the plains, there's a very deep burrow located near a large flower field. Do you want to dismiss? I know many tales. Would you like to hear one? In ages past, when the world was young, there lived three gods of evil. Death, sorrowing, and Shirak. Death, the eldest, ruled the netherworld and its army of the dead. His brother, Sarowin, was the lord of destruction and ruler of all that was evil. Their sister, Shirak, ruled over the darkness with her formidable powers of magic. Together, the three of them led a horde of monsters against an alliance of gods and their mortal children. The forces met in furious battle. The Lord of the Gods, Elor, created fate stones and gave them to the hero Nirsa. The three gods of evil were defeated and Sarawin was imprisoned through the power of the Fate Stones. Mirsa gave his life, but the tale of Mirsa and the Fate Stones became a legend that will never be forgotten. Everyone knows that tale. Perhaps its charm is wearing thin.
boat at the port will take you to Melvere, the capital of the Bafal Empire. In the old days, this island was part of the Empire. Now that boat is the only connection we have with it. Welcome to Jelton. Have you come in search of treasure on the plains? Hey, you! You must be a new adventurer. Only a rookie would fail to greet a member of the Volunteer Brigade. Good answer. Your modesty will serve you well. Now, one of our duties in the Brigade is instruction in the ways of adventuring. What do you want to know?
<laughs> this fucker's running fast, man. Damn. Fuck, why is it still here? Oh my god, does it not disappear because I have the egg? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> 